Hey, it's Pat. Let's talk about So You Think You Can Dance for Real. What's up with that? Everybody. Everybody tonight. With the, I was doing three. For real. I don't even know what that is. It's very popular on So You Think You Can Dance. Uh, last week, let's talk about that quick. I called it. I said Carrington was going home. She did. She's gone. But little Gev went home, too. Was anybody else sad that Gev went home? I wasn't really expecting it, so I was kind of bummed. Uh, sorry, Gev. You're, you're, you're good. Sorry that you had to go. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about this week. We're down to the top eight dancers. They got new partners again, new routines, and they did solos again. Mm, I'll talk about the solos really quick, but, uh, let's get into the routines. Will and Courtney were first. Very cool couple. Their first routine that they had was a samba. It was pretty all right. I mean, I, again, I forwarded through the judges' routines this week, so f forget what the judges said. I have no idea what they said, but it was all right. I mean, it wasn't anything spectacular for the top eight. Um, then their second routine was hip hop and they did it to an Alicia Keys song, which is one of my favorite songs. Anyway, uh, it was a really cool routine. I think Tabitha and Napoleon are a really great addition to the show this year. They have their own show on TLC. Have you seen that too? It's kind of weird. Um, but they, they do some really emotional hip hop routines and this routine was cool. Will was a ghost and Courtney was longing after him. Anyway, it was really cool. I really liked it. Um, their solos, Courtney's solo was really beautiful. I really liked it. Will's solo with the James Brown and the wig, and by the time the intro was over, his solo was over. I feel like he kind of threw that away. If he's trying to get people to vote for him, it was pretty weird, my opinion. Next up, Katie and Twitch. They uh, got paired up. They had a contemporary routine by me and Michaels first with the door in between them where she kept trying to go after him and get through the door, and he kept throwing her out. Really cool. Probably my favorite one of the night. Um, I thought it was a really interesting routine, really cool use. Mia Michaels, you know, she has the bed, she has, uh, the bench from last season, she has the door now, what, what will she use next? I don't know. Really fun routine. Uh, then they had a Broadway routine, which was, okay, it was cute. I feel like it kind of had a little bit of low energy for what they were asked to do. Um, but Katie and Twitch, I'm sure they will make it to next week. Uh, Mark and Comfort were next. They were both in the bottom two last week. They got paired up this week. <laughs> Conveniently, does anyone else think it's a little bit rigged? I don't know. Uh, the first routine that they had was hip hop to Natabatha. Uh, Tabitha and Napoleon. I'm really tired this week. Sorry, guys. Uh, Tabitha and Napoleon did their routine. It was to party people with Fergie and Nelly with the school desks, and they were like bad kids in school. It was really fun. I thought Comfort actually did a really awesome job. Mark was okay, but their second routine was Foxtrot, and it was sick. It was just gross. I just didn't like it. it to me, it looked like Comfort was playing dress up. Like she was going to wear a pretty dress and pretend to be a ballroom dancer. Mark didn't really do that well either, so um, I think they're going to be the ones to go next week. Anyway, Final couple, Joshua and Chelsea, they had the tango. It was awesome. I'm not really super into the ballroom dances anyway. This one was, it was hot. It was fast. They were like lifting and he was like flinging, flinging her everywhere. Cool. Cool routine. Really liked it. And then they had the disco. And I will say this. I know that I really don't speak fondly of disco routines, but this one... I still didn't really like. My DVR was messing up a little bit, so it kept it was jumbling a little bit, but I thought it looked a little bit clunky and, like, I don't know. Just wasn't super. It might have been the DVR. So don't, all you disco fans out there, don't hate on me. Um, but tonight was pretty fun. I, I'm kind of ready for it to be done with. I, that's mean to say. Like, they're all really awesome and they're all really great, so it's hard to weed out the people that I think are going to go home. I think bottom two, I think for the girls, I think it's going to be Comfort and Chelsea. No, not Chelsea. Comfort and Courtney. I think that Comfort should go home, but I think Courtney might go home just because she, Comfort fans might be reaching out for Comfort to try to save her when Courtney fans might be spread out between Chelsea and Katie and Courtney because they're all a little bit similar. Comfort's the one that stands out as being different, so just my opinion. I wish Comfort would go. I think she should go, but I think Courtney might go, so you guys might need to vote for her. And for the guys, I just have no idea. I think Mark might go because everyone, Will and Joshua and Twitch seem to have such a following, but again, Mark fans might come through and rally, pull them through the next week. So if you like Mark or Comfort or Courtney, you might want to vote for them. Just vote for everybody. 
All right, I got nothing this week. Let me know what you guys think. You guys are leaving really awesome comments. So bail me out and say something interesting that I can talk about next week. Until then, see ya.